the gig master is back. Stay tuned. For those of you who have been following me, I just got back from a six-day cruise down in the Caribbean. Awesome time, awesome time. But I want to tell you a couple things going on. I did take my Equinox down there. I didn't take my Scoop, though. Let me tell you about a couple things first. Traveling with the detector. Um, I actually took it, the head of the uh, Equinox, I'll put it in my carry-on. My pinpoint in my carry-on. Uh, everything in my carry-on, because I figured um, you're not supposed to carry batteries in your luggage. But a lot of people say they do it all the time, never had a problem. I think the FAA requirements are at least a 100 watt, no more than a 100 watt battery in your luggage. And the Equinox is a 100 watt, so it should be okay. But I tell you, it's all going to depend on who's looking at it, I think. Uh, this is what happened to me, though. I went, it was a small plane, so they said that uh, I couldn't carry my carry on, and they had to check it, go underneath this plane. And they say, do you have any batteries in it? I said, yeah, I got a whole bunch of batteries in it. I said, they all got to come out. Okay, what do I do? I ha Luckily, I had a backpack with me, too, and my carry-on. So I started hauling everything out. I asked them, how about my cameras? Oh, they're okay. So why wouldn't my detector be? You know, I mean, the rules are a little shady, I think, in there sometimes. But uh, most time you'll be fine. But if you get the wrong guy, they might question. I think one person commented on my video said they thought their pinpointing was a weapon. So they start questioning. They've never seen one before. Uh, same thing with some of the detectors. You know, get a new guy, never seen one. He said, okay, this looks shady, you know, so they got to take all precautions. So anyway, you could run into something or you could never have problems. Some people comment, never had a better problem. Other people comment, they do have problems. So it's still a little question what areas in there you're going to have a problem or not. But anyway, I got to the beach. Um, I had a little hand scoop. I was hoping that the water would only be shallow enough I could just kind of snorkel around, have my snorkel. And I used my handheld on my Equinox. Unfortunately, as soon as I got in the water, it got waist deep. I mean, just within three feet. So, in that case, I could not, I did some, but it was tough diving down, trying to get it, using my foot to open it up, and then going down. Anyway, you need a scoop! I, 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 I pack, and I was kind of, kind of tight on my packing, so I didn't take my scoop. And uh, I didn't have the shorter handle anyway at the time. So, anyway... Bring a scoop. If you're going there, I'd have to say, I hunted the beach a lot and dug a couple pieces of jewelry. I did dig a $25 casino chip that I could take right to my shipping cash in. That was pretty nice. But I would say definitely take a scoop. Um, Extreme Scoops, John, I, I got back, I looked on his on the site, and he's in development right now of a three-piece handle. It screws together three times, so it'll fit your suitcase really good. They're not out in the production yet. He doesn't have for sale. But uh, I'm going to get my hands on one. And I'll show you when I get it. But that is going to be the ideal handle to take on vacation with you. That way you got your scoop. Three-piece handle that screws together. I think that's going to be the key. And I will definitely take mine next time. Anyway, just want to let, let y'all know about that. Um, talking about the Equinox again. Uh, me and uh, Phil, uh, we've been, he got some sample rubber. He told me this place got some sample rubber. And uh, we're trying to make a new and out of different rubber than what they use. Uh, this rubber here is supposed to be actually used on a snow plows on streets, which rubs against, you know, uh, concrete, sh sh uh, asphalt streets. And also, it should have a good wearability, much more than this one here. And I think I got enough of the sample rubber to cut out, you know, three or four out of here, so I'll be able to test them. If it works, we'll have to look at maybe getting some of this rubber and making some teardrops out of this rubber and maybe we don't we'll have to worry about you know them wearing down so fast but anyway i'm working on that too i'm always trying to come up with some different ideas how to keep us out there in the field detecting without problems so i'm working on it because i don't like it um all right let's move on find of the week well this week i think it's gonna be shrimp uh you'll see a video come out in a few days where um, i did the one the other day but i did do another video where i actually caught a few more shrimp and they're really good oh my god it was so good but uh, I went today, me and Buddy actually went to two different places I, uh, I can catch a lot of shrimp. None. I, well, I, let me take that back. One place had none. The other place I thought one time had 40 in it, but it was a little tiny thing. So, as far as I'm concerned, none edible. Let's say it that way. None edible. One, one had a bunch of little ones. I gave them to the fishermen, but it looks like I may be a little late on them. I think I waited too long. So, that adventure might be closing out. 
Um, all right, let's move on to gig news. Um, there's still a, a guy out there is asking everybody, who's got the best website, uh, get best YouTube channel? And it's, I think it's six of us in the final run, and I'm one of them. I'll put a link down in the video description if you want to go over there and vote for the gig master. I'll put a link in the video description, so check that out if you get a chance. Um, anyway, uh, you got the trip update, got that. Man, so much going on. That cruise was really nice. I really enjoyed that. If you've never been cruising, you need to try it. You unpack your suitcase one time, all the food you want, entertainment, it's travel from, they're taking you traveling so you don't have to drive this anywhere. It can't beat it. Um, all right, well, let's tell you what. Let's, um, let's talk about one other thing here. We talk about the shims, right? The shims that go behind you. We talk about that. Um, this guy, Ron, I, I think I told you all about him before. He's got a um, thing here where you actually get um, 12 different shims, all different sizes from... 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0.9, 1.0, and you combine them, make any size you want. So, I was trying to get into making them, but I tell you, he's got it perfected enough. I'm, I'm going to stop making the shim. You know, I got some I'm going to give away, but I'm not going to go into selling them anymore or anything because there it is right there. He actually did send me some to give away. So, I'm going to give away one set of his on the channel. That's 12 shims in this little bag right here, and I will give them away. Just put your, uh, make sure you make a comment. In the, in the comments below, and I'll just do a random drawing next week, and you win. maybe I'll do two. Stay tuned. Put you, put a comment down. We may do a couple of ways, so I think I got a couple he sent me, so we'll do a couple of them. All right. All right. I think that's going to write that up. Um, we, um, oh, oh, by the way, I'll put an eBay link in my video description to these. If anybody wants to just buy them, I'll put an eBay link down in the video description if y'all want to just buy them. Ah, oh, let's see. Is there anything else? Man, I had so much on my mind here. I'm trying to see if I remember everything. Um, don't forget uh, Don Dotson. He, he's a good guy to go to North Georgia Relics. If you ever want to buy anything, I'll put his information down in the in a, uh, comments. I mean, in the uh, video description also. Tell him the gig sent you. If you go, give him a call. Um, all right, I think that's to do it. We got the giveaway coming up on that. Uh, we'll get a couple of those. We're going to test out the, the rubber on this one. These right here. You see what we come up with? Ah. Uh, I did one really cool thing today. Uh, we did, a, me and Buddy, we actually took and poured liquid aluminum in water and ice. Wait till you see the sculptures that made it awesome. I tell you what, I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. I'll put one picture at the end of this video so you can see it. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Yeah, I'll check, I'll, I'll let you see one of them. It, it's, and I got all kind of ideas coming up. The backyard scientist is coming up with all kinds of stuff. All right, well, everybody, I appreciate everybody coming along. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment below. Don't forget to comment if you want to win this. Just make any comment down below. I'm not going to have any kind of word. I'm just going to pick the comments out. And subscribe to the Gig Master because you never know where we're going next. Could be the Caribbean. It could be Alaska. Yeah, I, I got some other cruises planned, so stay tuned. All right, we'll see you in the next adventure.